the opportunity for folks to come here and get a meal is just the beginning. And uh, being able to have access to social services, being able to have a place they can have their mail and, and, and register for benefits, and, and then be able to really be treated like a human being and with dignity and respect. I think that's something that what I see here and, and around other places really is, is what we need. Uh, folks sometimes are even, uh, uh, they're, they're hesitant to come in and seek help because every day they feel that they're being disrespected, they feel that they're, they're, they're being looked over. And a place like this, that when they come in, they're, they're made to feel comfortable. And they don't stand in line to get their meal. They're, they're, they're served food. Uh, they're, they're treated with respect and dignity. And I think that's you know, the key to making you know, the, the instability that they all are, are dealing with to make it better and, and, and to get them on the right directions. We treat them in a five-star way. We welcome them as our friends. We welcome them as we would welcome our own family members, as though they were in the struggle of their lives, which they often are. And as we've built relationships and trust over time, we've gotten to the understanding of what people really need to move forward in their lives. And so over time, over 10 years, we have built a collaborative social service platform whereby we provide meals, we provide mail for 3,018 Philadelphians who receive their mail here. We, receive, we provide them with personal care products, but more importantly, we drive collaboration among uh, best-in-class social service providers who help our guests access under one roof, one-stop shopping, if you will, healthcare, behavioral health services, legal assistance, uh, social work uh, assistance, case management, where people are able to put all of these services together in a way that adds up in a way that people move forward in their lives. So they become employed, so they become housed, and so they can return to society in a way where they are treated as a whole person. And that's our objective here. I think it's also important for the state to recognize that, uh, that these social programs that we talk about, that, that everyone likes to, to, to always want to cut, and they, that there's real people behind those numbers. And I think the state needs to understand that. I think that, that we as legislators need to understand that we're talking about people here. We're talking about families. We're talking about veterans. Uh, we're talking about people that are, are, are integral to, to the fabric of Philadelphia and to Pennsylvania. So we need to care more. We need to understand what their, their plight is and how they got here. And that's what we need to focus on those social programs that everybody wants to cut all the time uh, because we can save money you know that's the key because we don't want folks to get to a point where they're in stability in housing we want to make sure we step in sooner and that's what those programs are there for